Maybe I should just start every video in this like exact angle because I'm really liking this setup. <laughs> this matches the colors, isn't that so cute? I <laughs> this is a little cinema roll thing. Okay, so today's video is gonna be more of a cozy vlog. I'm honestly not like a huge fan of winter, but I do think that winter is one of the seasons where it can be like super cozy and you just want to do everything inside and yeah, just like super peaceful and stuff like that. So this week, um, I'm going to be showing you guys my week just of uh, a lot of anime watching, a lot of eating good food, and perhaps going outside to uh, bask in some of the sun. Same old, same old, like classes, Genshin, uh, gaming, stuff like that. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. And if you're not new, a gold star! I'm also gonna be showing some gacha uh, because I really like doing gacha pon as well. Oh, those, those games are so addictive. It's not a game, it's just a gamble. But every time I see one of those machines, like I need, I specifically got like a coin purse so that i can just have like 100 yens on me at all times because you never know when you're gonna see a cute gacha especially the mufusando ones these days oh my god the mufusando ones are so cute i'm looking for the one that has cream puffs in it it's this i haven't found it the only place that i actually found it is online i thought i would kind of see it around but i have not so yes Let's get on with the video. Today we are at Shinjuku. It is a little bit crowded today and I got some stuff from Liz Lisa. There's a huge mall called 
Atla here and there's also Don Quixote. So we went shopping and now we're heading over to the Animate. So around five minutes from Shinjuku Station, there is a Animate building. This is kind of a little bit smaller than the other Animates that we've been to here in Tokyo, but they still have quite a big variety of merch. Of course, I went to the quintessential quintuplet section right away um, to see some of the merch that they have. It's honestly not like my favorite favorite anime, but because there's so much like merch for it, because it is really popular in Japan, so I think that a lot of the mainstream animes always get like more merch and they're always doing something related to like pop-ups and stuff like that, so I end up reaching for a lot of quintessential quintuplet merch because they're always like kind of readily available today i'm trying to get the acrylic pins and then i saw this cute tsuka gacha that i actually got this is i guess it's like the best one because it's the biggest like poster but i got that one so i was so happy to show it off and yeah there was a bunch of them like for uh, marin and stuff like that as well it's actually in the animate store and they just have this whole section for just gacha which is really nice so i like when they have these like inside the building and uh my friend saw some nisi sanzu uh, vtubers so we had to take a picture with them i'm not really looking for anything like in particular today so i'm just kind of browsing around Anytime I see Spy X Family, I do pause to look at Anya and Anya's like merch and stuff like that. But in general, this store is only two floors, I believe. But um, they do have quite a wide range of merch, like pretty much every animate. But yeah, all the floors are, um, it's quite like widespread. So it's only two floors, but it is like quite widespread. And they have a lot of different um, Spy X Family merch too. So I was looking at some of the random pins and the random acrylics and I don't know who these characters are but they're so cute! And now we have made it to the Chikawa section. Chikawa is always like literally everywhere. You can find them at Kittyland or at any merch store because they're just that popular these days. So I did make my final decision to get this one and I'm gonna pull it at the restaurant. So let's see what we got. It's Itsuki! Yay! <laughs> I think I mentioned this in the last video, but Itsuki is um, my second favorite. I just think she's so relatable, and I really like the fact that she just loves food. It also coincidentally kind of matches my Chikawa, I guess, because um, she, uh, he also has like hot dogs in his hand. But Itsuki is one of my favorite characters for that reason. She's always munching on food, even in the official art and stuff like that, which is so relatable. And I also love food, so yeah, she's just so cute. And now we're eating dinner! Because there's so many anime shops in Japan, I was thinking that I could make a separate video dedicated to like all the store locations and stuff like that for anime merch if people are interested. So definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see that type of video because I thought I wasn't like kind of educated enough to talk about all the merch shops but then I actually looked online and I've been to every single- pretty much every single one of them. Like I researched some articles about like the i guess tour guides for like um what shops you should go to if you're like a big fan of anime merch and i realized that i like looking through it i went to all of them so i was like oh i can definitely make a video about this because i didn't think there are a lot but it's not like impossible to film because i feel like it's like less than you would expect for some reason so let me know if you want that type of video
<laughs> my skin, my skin is peeling off right now because I'm not giving it the hydration. But I need, I need to put the leak on Miku. <laughs> ah, hold on. Ah, Miku, sorry. It's okay. Ah. Okay, there you go. There's your leak. Do you know why this song is stuck in my head? It's because of Brittany Broski. Because I watched her podcast and she was singing this on the first like three seconds and now it's in my head. Okay. <laughs> In the TikTok that I posted recently, I really shouldn't have posted that, but I talked about the tolyokaki, which is basically like, um, like jaw reconstruction surgery. <laughs> I think I shouldn't have talked about that because now it gave me ideas. The people in the comments were like, "No, she didn't get that. She just got mister Botox." I did the same thing, but I just got mister Botox. Mister, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Miss, miss, I've in my head, I've been, I've been pronouncing it as Massachusetts Botox. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it. This is the word, but like. <laughs> Now it got me thinking. Now I have like ideas. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should get that Botox too. Oh my god! I remembered. <laughs> this isn't even a new one. I got it like um, it was a while ago, but it's so it's like kind of dirty here. Like you can see there, it's quite dirty. Yeah, it's been through the ringer. I actually use this one quite a lot. It's by um, CNP Laboratory, but and I got it. Um, yeah, this one's. Oh, I got it from. I think it was Don Quixote. I'm I'm pretty sure it was Don Quixote. I'm breaking out like tremendously in like this section, so I'm gonna wait for that to settle down. I don't know. Like I feel like now I don't really like like. I don't really get overwhelmed or anything when <clears throat> I start getting like like acne and stuff because before I would get so like hyper fixated about it but now I feel like my skin yeah. is healthy enough if I have acne for some reason it's mostly because probably like I'm just like not getting enough rest or like you know there's just like my numbs that I know I'll naturally like get better so, Oh, this is. I just closed this. That looked really intense. Why do I, I do that for every single one of? I did it for. I. It's, that was like on accident. I I just do that like as a natural reflex, I guess. Okay. These days, I really realized that I really do spend a lot of time alone. I mean, I've I've known that I was an introvert for a pretty long time because. Every single time consecutively when I've taken that um, MBTI test, the I and F, like all the letters, they're at like 90% or more. So like my, like my friends and stuff like that, they try to take it like again every couple of like months. I don't take it every couple of months because I know that there's going to be no change. But I think for some people, being alone is a little bit boring but for me being alone is so like peaceful and even though I, I love hanging out with people and I love hanging out with like the right people the people that don't really make me nervous and stuff like that because that's a really big thing too it really depends on the type of person that I'm with because a lot of the time like I think most of the time um the person that I'm with like they 
like I feel nervous around most people so it's only like a select few that I feel like extremely comfortable with to like be able to hang out for like long periods of time but besides that like I think in general it's really hard for me to kind of like go out and be outside for like a long time just like socially interacting with people and stuff like that it's just really tough so I don't know I'm like really these days I'm even more grateful for my hobbies and stuff like that because I feel like for the longest time I wasn't really able to do like I wasn't really able to engage in the hobbies that I really wanted to because I feel like there was a lot of skepticism especially because like obviously I, I don't know if it's like this for anyone else in the world but like I think that like being a being a weep is not <laughs> and like engaging in like otaku stuff is like it's definitely something that's like not for everyone and of course I completely understand that but I think that there was a time where I tried to kind of like not really you know engage in that stuff honestly mostly because i thought that i would be losing my friends if i did that and i think now it's kind of like ironic because um i, I think i've found more friends that are that have similar interests that i do and like personality wise and also like hobby wise so i feel like now because all my friends are really into this type of stuff, I think it's like really good because um, I get to like kind of like geek out about everything and they're just also geeking out with me. You know, I feel like in a world where we're all so vastly different, there's a sense of peace and a sense of comfort when you find people that are exactly like you. I think that those are the types of people that are ultimately going to understand you and kind of see you in a different light than most people do so i think that is something that's like very valuable and um yeah i really appreciate it as well and i'm done making it now like this it's so cute it's a little parfait thing and you can put like rings inside of it or like just like anything honestly but um i think that it's kind of hard to put anything else in it besides like jewelry and stuff uh maybe you could put like i don't know maybe you could put like nintendo switch like you know like the gaming little things like you could probably stack it up in here but either way super cute oh i can put the figure stuff in here like the little like things that they come with and like miku's leak i can probably put that in here oh that's so cute You guys are gonna see it first. What is it? What is it? I want it to be one of the... One of the bear ones? Or one of the... Neko ones? <gasps> this is so nerve-wracking! Hold on! One, two, three! For now, I think it's just gonna stay on my desk, but this is really cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to open this. Ah. Yay! Oh, this is really adorable. Oh my god, it's sleeping! It's sleeping! For now, it's gonna just stay here, because I think it's cute. <laughs> I just want to look at him. He's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so 
excited that I pulled that. Oh my god.